Welcome back to Empower Field at Mile High. We're in the first quarter of play, and it's the Eagles in control of the football. Now on second and 13. Hurts. That is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Hurts that time. Third down here. This defense for the Broncos, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Before the snap here, we've got a timeout by the offense. It's their first of this first half, and they'll get together and talk this one over. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. This defense for the Broncos, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Twenty-one nothing, our score after one. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw on second and 10, Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. Five yards, now it's third and five. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Broncos will take over on downs. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinators rallying the team, saying, watch the fake, watch the fake. But Brandon, 
Don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth quarter. That's their job. They scream that every time. And this time, though. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Broncos are able to add on to their first half lead. But it's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And, CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. But this one might be over by halftime. And since you've already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will co-sign and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league. Is... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. And it's a first down and more for Gordon. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Melvin Gordon with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Extra point from McManus is good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here's Scott to return it. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it'll be second down. Play action. Here's Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, but I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was, and Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Here's Sanders, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. 
We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. An analytic. Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. And all the way home for a Broncos score. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Broncos continue to pour it on. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because... The guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down. Good luck. He's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. McManus's point after is good. And the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board, Hurts fumbles it. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Melvin Gordon with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Broncos add on. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point from McManus is good. And a route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here's Scott to return it. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Throwing his hurts. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Hurts. And that's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. On, oh, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. Johnson on the return. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. He's going to wind up and air it out. And at the 
seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. But I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. All right, Brent. We now proceed to the start of the second half. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive, and they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half, so where do they go from here? The first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely, but you just have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. On the return, Johnson. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here are the Broncos to take over on offense. They are working on that very impressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to 10 as they've got the lead here. First and 10. He sets to fire deep. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way home for a Broncos score. Touchdown passes now for Tom Brady, and the Broncos continue to pour it on. Teams always want to send messages. I think that was quite a statement there to start the third quarter. Yeah, less than a minute in, already that quick, long strike. They are setting the tone for the second half. McManus' point after is good, and that will extend this big lead. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here's Scott to return it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Out of the gun now on third down. Hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Johnson to return it. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing now is Brady. He's going to air one out. 
This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Tyree Cleveland. 65 yards. And the Broncos add on. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record. Sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. What a game. How about that? Because so many things have to go right in order for it to happen. Not just him catching the passes. Someone delivering it accurately. Offensive line giving them time to throw the ball. A true team record. But he stands above it because he was on the receiving end of so many great plays. And here's Scott to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. On second and nine, Hurts. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Alexander Jensen. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Boy, so another interception, C.D., and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his... And he's got his tight end fan. Touchdown, Broncos. Noah Fan. His fourth touchdown of the year. And the Broncos get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone. So give him. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point from McManus is good, and the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here's Scott to return it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that...